In this video, I show you the flip side for wallet with RFID card protection. The flip side 4 is packaged nicely, which makes for a great gift. The literature tells you how it's best intended to be used, but you can figure this out yourself. This wallet is manufactured in the United States with a modern day approach to storing the contents you'd normally keep in your traditional wallet in a clever, more secure way. So the exterior is a hard clamshell type design. It's made from a tough textured polymer, giving a deep scratch resistance. The flip side 4 has a push button and flip over organization for your cash and cards. In the center section, you have RFID shielding plates protecting up to six cards. I'm using flat cards to demonstrate, but it does hold six real embossed bank cards, which of course would be thicker. This is where you would have your contactless payment cards so that your data can't be scanned and stolen digitally. It holds three cards in each of the two pockets, placing the ones you use the most at the top for quick access. They're held with just the right tension. Flipping over and you access the cash compartment and another card pocket. The card pocket holds one additional card, ideal for driver's license or an ID card. This pocket is not intended to be RFID secure. The cash compartment will hold up to 10 US notes folded once. You could also put business cards, receipts, coins or anything else that fits here. For non-US notes like I have here, you need to double fold them. This deeper compartment makes the flip side 4 very practical. The case is crush resistant, and I like that once I've closed the case, everything I've put inside is safe and can't be lost or damaged. I feature a few wallets on my channel, but this is the one I use myself daily. I've had it for nearly six months. It lives in my pocket, usually with my keys or coins, but it's got no marks and still looks brand new. There is a smarter way to fold bigger notes so that they fit just right, as you can see here. For those people that need even more storage, there is also an external money band. You can put cash or cards here if you want to. The flip side for wallet is very intuitive to use. Cards are easily thumbed forward to access them quickly at the checkout. You can flip the spring loaded case and access the cards with just one hand after a while. The cards in the RFID secure pockets are held securely with the same resistance securing them, whether there's three or just one card in each pocket. The outer attachment for external storage can be removed, which is how I prefer to use the wallet. I think it looks better this way and is perfect even for a tight jeans front pocket. The link in the description will take you to where you can purchase a wallet from Flipside. I noticed they can frequently be out of stock for short times. I remember that I had to wait a few days to purchase mine, so if they have it and in the colour that you want, grab it whilst you can, especially if it's for a birthday gift that needs to arrive on time. Oh, and if it is a gift for someone else, don't play with it, you'll want to keep it. The construction is sturdy and feels over-engineered. The hinges and middle panel are designed to last. The design and finished product gives an impression of quality that's difficult to express, but you appreciate immediately when you start to use the wallet. Next we'll take a look at the flip side store attachment. This is sold separately and comes in black. This piggyback attachment is held securely, so you don't need to worry about it coming off. It gives you a universal storage pocket for a few extra items. I wonder whether the friction of the sliding tray against the body of the wallet might scratch it over time. I don't use the stow attachment personally, so let me know in the comments if you can answer that one. It's designed for coins or keys primarily. It comes with a handy divider so that your keys sit correctly. It will hold up to four regular shaped keys in two stacks of two. Here I've got just two keys which therefore rattle. I should have stacked them into a single divider to avoid this. 
The flip side store attachment is also made from a strung polycarbonate plastic and textured to match the finish of the wallet. With the divider removed, you can put coins in here. It's not for cash, it just won't fit well. If you're going to put coins in it, you're going to compromise your stealth capability quite a lot. Also available is the flip side kick attachment, which fits in a similar way to this and is a really neat way to store a few extra cards with protection against damage. Remember the attachments are optional. I find the wallet has plenty of space for all that I need with no attachments. The dimensions of the flip side 4 wallet are 4 and a quarter inch by 2 and 3 quarter inch by 3 quarter inch and its empty weight is 3 ounces. A quick comparison to a regular sized wallet which has been filled with the same amount of contents that we had in a flip side 4 shows that you have a much compacted replacement to your regular wallet, it frees up some pocket space, it's better organized and it gives you the benefit of the RFID card protection is compatible with previous and present clip attachments, including flip side kick attachments, flip side stow, flip side 3x all purpose clip, and the flip side 2x T clip. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe icon, that helps me out, and thanks for watching.